So this is Shiva, the goddess of destruction. It's all by the pharaohs, finally. And look at this here. Now he's got a Templar's cross on her belly. Uh, it's all the same, and this is from a pyramid. So they all are pharaohs, all these gods, all the swastika. I made this video about it. The swastika comes out of the pyramid. It's always the same. So even there, where I slept here in this room here, the guy, he went to uh, Japan, or the sun. Look, there are three circles here for the compass, and in the middle they got a square here. These are the coins, but by whom are the coins? By the, by the royals. This is all Japanese then. It's the same thing in Japan. And look at this samurai here. Now oh, you've got a, also a Templar's cross here on his belly, just like the Shiva with a, a little inner circle and it's all in a square for the it's all the same people it's in a square it's us we are being they have to defend us by these summarize they have to defend the inner circle and the square is us the people eh? it's all the same everywhere eh? oh, nice pyjama Japanese pyjamas okay people here's another logo it's always the same uh, the circle for the compass and the square for the square so it says square and compass so come and buy at this company here this uh, and here's part of the oval we see here the uh, line there so this is a monument for the dead the, all the world wars the Templars cross as I've been filming you so many times the grail our blood is here we are the masters you do the war for us Military, it's always octagon. This is octagon. So, you see, people, we're going to look at some more Templar stuff. Here it says Circuit de Templier, the road of the Templars, or Circuit, the, um, the circuit of the, uh, the Templars, and here as well, Mormont. And this is, yeah, there are two roads, all temple roads. They were everywhere, people. The king had no chance at all. It's like bloody McDonald's. Op they are opening their commanderies all over. It's not something special. Even here it says in red and white. It's not something special or something very rare as they pictured in all the Hollywood movies. But, you know, the Templars were everywhere. It's not something rare at all. So here the Knights Templars, they had a mill here, you know, with the water here next to it. Uh, you see the, the water flushing down here. They had a mill. And the guy knows it because this is the, uh, the root of the Templars here and it was on the, on the internet. And, but there are no signs, but uh, Knights Templars. It's probably on this thing. If you look at with you take a picture with your phone, it all pops up. So the name of this hospitalers, uh, like where we are going, it's Mormont, an ancient commandery, thousand years old. You know, there's the word. It used to be Mer Mermont, Mer pyramid. It's all pharaonic. They're the first. Steinzies, the first stone builders, but Mormon, it also, it could also have been, there's a connection in the name like Mormon, the Mormons, it's also religious, or anyway, these guys were not really religious, and maybe the Mormons aren't either, you know, if you look at Joseph Smith being a Freemason and all that, and with this book about the, uh, the stone plates, you know, about the ancient people that coming from the Middle East, like the Mormons believe in the Middle East, you know, it's all it, the Mormons do have a, a uh, so the uh, the uh, saints of latter days, uh, the latter day saints, uh, what is it in uh, Salt Lake City, eh? Utah, isn't it? And uh, th there is this connection, they have this connection with the Middle East, they say the original. The uh, the um, the Ameri the Indians they come from uh, the Middle East, and uh, and now we got and so do the Templars and the aristocrats and the Pharaohs and here we got Mormon Mormon, the Mormons. I mean, 
connection is there in a way. Okay, this is uh, the monastery, the uh, Abbey Mormon. Mormon, yeah, there is a um, mer dedans. Mer, it's the word for pyramid. And all these, it's all over here. Hello. Good <laughs> and here, it's on an old Roman route here. The uh, Via Francigena for the pilgrims or here again. So of course the uh, the gate here is new, but anyway they wouldn't have done it if there wasn't the old Templars commandery here and probably a farm here as well. I don't know, probably all these houses here, they're all part of this commandery. So this is really the biggest Templar commandery I've, I've ever seen, eh? all these houses. Even the new, they made it new, people living in there. I've never seen that big like this, eh? So here you can read it. Uh, the hospitalers, a hospital, look, he's, they're looking after them. And like the, uh, the people doing the, cru the, uh, the crusades, you know, helping them to get there. The moment they got there, they changed into Templars and now you have to do the war. And here it says, the hospitalers of Saint-Jean de Jerusalem. And Saint-Jean de Jerusalem, it's the same where Macron, the president of France, the pink list killer, he was in the in a Templar school also called Saint Jean de Jerusalem, Lena. It's like a, a mold of for being a, um, a uh, president. Uh, Maison Dieu. Here the name of it is Maison Dieu, the hospitalis. But the Templars were here as well, of course, they always were. So, how is it possible? Look, look how it's lying all here. Oh, bloody hell, French drivers, eh? Frenchy parking the car and they ran down the whole tourist information here. Hey, so it says again Mormon, which the original name I f is Mermont, uh, which is it, Mer, it means pyramid, and it's even a fact I just heard, but I already knew that. Um, and here it says. Um, the, 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 they were already here, the first cru crusade, 1095, with uh, uh, Godefroy de Bouillon. And, uh, well, you can, you can look at the, uh, the text, just punch pause. Okay, there we go. And uh, here it says, the Templars here, Templiers. I can't see it. So, very big. Yeah, look, there's even a, there's a cross here. So, looks like a Swiss cross. So this is like a thousand years old, eh? Now look, there's a coat of arms here. This is the concept of four, like a Swiss cross. Here you got the concept of three. Three inverse pyramids like in Auschwitz. And here again across. I don't know whether it so this is thousand years old. And here. Well, it's a, there's a lot of rubble everywhere. Just as here. It all crashed down. Because it's old, eh? Very, very big. I've never seen a Templar's commandery this big. Never seen that. So it says, you know, that they even they, they talk about the word commander, like commander bond, eh? Commandeur. Uh, like a commandery. The hospital is here. 
and they, they were here like in the 14th century and 1500 like the other it says commandery so of course afterwards there were like farmers in here you can see, still see the old stuff here from like a couple of centuries back you know and, uh, Uh, I mean, why not take the old commandery? Eh? And, but at a certain time, it was full of monks here. Warrior monks and aristocratic monks. So here it says here was even a castle and the um, uh, seigneurial, uh, it means the, the house of the masters was here. The, uh, the, the aristocracy in this big farm and commandery and everything. And this is why the coat of arms, it has been demolished. And why did they demolish it? Like here, they just took it away before the revolution, because then they were going after these part of the old world's order who didn't want to have the Republic and the new Templar system. So they had to hide and take away all the, um, all the evidence, the or aristocratic evidence and their coat of arms. So they demolished it like uh, before 1789. So too bad. We can't see which house, royal house, they're from. This is very big. Wow. So, people, if you see the sign here, it says Arc en Barrois, 17 kilometers. There's the word in it, so to understand it, there's the word roi, le roi, it means the kings. Bar, it comes from the, the demotic pharaonic word per meaning the house, like that. So it says the house of the kings. So there must be a castle. And Arc, like Jean d'Arc, Joan of Arc, or the Arc, the, the Arc of the Triumph, like in France. It, it comes from the, um, the Greek Arcos. It means to rule or to reign. And all it means like in. So it means the rule in the house of the kings so there must be a castle so i asked my friend here is there a castle is yai chateau yes yes there is a castle <laughs> so I, I i just see it you know by the signs like all the names and all the towns and everything it all has a meaning and it has a a a um, an origin Especially when you see the word roi here, like the 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 mother of all the the uh, the mother of darkness castle. The name is Le Chateau des Ames Roi. A me it means pyramid, and a it means uh, uh, pregnant, or so it means pregnant pyramid kings. Le Chateau des Ames Roi. So you say this is quite a big road, and it's, it's the road of the Templars, as, as I've seen like everywhere, you know. Uh, so they, they used to, and, and this is leading to the, uh, it's leading to the mill where we just were, and afterwards the, the commandery of uh, Mormont. Everywhere people, like McDonald's. So here's the castle in this place here, Arc en Barrois, it means uh, to rule the House of Kings. It's a, um, a Chateau Neuf. It's a new castle from the 19th century, so it's not very interesting. The thing is interesting is um, the French King Louis Philippe, because he lived there uh, more than 20 years in Switzerland. And under his reign, the, um, the Foreign Legion was created, and the first commander was the uh, the Colonel von Stoffel, which is an aristocratic title. 
But this is interesting. It's a sun hieroglyph with a uh, templus, a modified templus cross in the middle, at least in the right color. Uh, there's some history from the uh, the First World War. There it is. Oh, it's huge, huh? Castles everywhere. Everywhere you go, there must have been at least 100,000 castles in France or more. And so imagine how many of these aristocrats are still there, right? So, here's a... Uh, Yeah, look, the logo of this enterprise. There are three squares for the square. It even looks like a square. I mean, like the square of the square and compass. And there are three of them. The concept of three and the concept of four. Um, here's like in the middle is a Templars V in white. Or what you see on all the tanks and stuff, you know. They do publicity here. Yeah. Well, of course. So this here in the middle of the forest, next to Langres, in the east of France, it's a mausoleum. And uh, the Roman path is just there. I'll just show it to you. And this is what they found, which is interesting. Here you can read it in English, yeah, the, the mausoleum. You can read it yourself. And they found tritons, there's our, our little, you know, well, reptilians, and masks, and lions. Why lions? You know, aristocracy. So that means the Romans, they had the same pharaonic aristocracy with their lions. Uh, and the lion is a symbol of the aristocracy. And as I've been telling you all the time, that the Romans, the Roman elite, they were pharaohs and the aristocracy. So, and they found this mask here, it's, it's a death mask, uh, a funeral mask, and here it says octagonal, the roof is octagonal, you see the flash going here, and then you've got this here, there are four pillars underneath, which is not octagonal anymore, the concept of four, here there are three circles for the concept of three, here two, three, and down there there's the concept of four, that's um, the square, the people, down there in the hierarchy. And this is interesting that for the Romans and the armies, you know, the, the octagon is up there, and then is the elite, the concept of uh, three here. And also this is octagonal here. So even the Romans already had it. So I'll show you the Roman road here which is just there. There's the Roman motorway going all the way to Rome. Here there's some more things here, you know, there. I'm not even sure I want to read it all. And it's going all the way there. Maybe it's going to Per Isis and to the north of Europe, even to England. In the middle of a forest. It's all forest. Big, huge forest. So oh, here's another sign. Bloody Romans, eh? Bloody killers. Oh, that's the falcon. This is not an eagle, people. I told you so. This is a falcon. Two circles, the concept of three for the compass. Here, here it is. Next to here. This is the, the, the road, the Latin name. Andermantunum. You can read it in English, in French, here in German, and you can see the, the Roman road. This is why the Romans, they, um, they won all the wars, because of this. They could move the troops very quickly for the logistics, bring food and water and whatever. This is why, because of the good lo logistics, that's why they won all the wars. So, I mean, it's not like, uh, as they show to us in all the videos, you be a warrior and all by yourself, you defeat an army, you be the Terminator and you be the, the hero doing it all by yourself, like Superman. 
No, it doesn't work like that. You know, it's not even being a good warrior winning a war. With a good logistics, uh, you have far better possibilities to win a war than with a load of, you know, supposedly good warriors. Then, eh? and it's the same thing for the signalers. You know, the radio guys. You know, that's very important. So you have a connection with each other. You know where you are. That's like this, with the good logistics and the good uh, signalers, signaler corps, you can, you can defeat any army. So here you see the slaves building their own grave here. Here it's in French, here in English and here in German. And this is the big, the mask, the funeral mask, what they found here, which is you know, satanic, eh? just like a voodoo mask. And he got here a... Um, I saw it on the other one, a, a, a Swiss cross on it, on his, like, on his front. Now here you can't see it anymore, but on the other one, like there, yeah. So, go back to the other one and you can see it. Now here it goes on. The motorway in the middle of nowhere. And of course, today's Rome is Switzerland, and the elite is pharaonic, the aristocracy. Um, Rome, that's, that's why Switzerland owns the Vatican, because Switzerland is Rome and they uh, rule over the Vatican and all the money of the Vatican is in Switzerland. They got the Swiss police, they got the Swiss secret, secret police, they got the Swiss guard and uh, Switzerland is Rome, the Templars, the army, it's all there. Today is Rome. Uh, chop it off guys. So here's a copy of the Roman mausoleum. French made a nice copy, good idea. So it's a square underneath the people. And then we get octagonal already here. Yeah, above the octagonal on top, you get the circles for the concept of three, the elite. Then again octagonal and once more octagonal. So we've got the concept of four down here. The octagon a couple of times, and here the circle is the concept of three, for the compass, on top almost. But for the Romans the army was very important, so the octagon... Uh, when Rome was a republic in, in the beginning, which should have ended here like, but then it became a dictatorship, with only one thing on top, and so the octagon, the army, is maybe that's why it's on top here and with something else on top, which is not here anymore. And this here, this looks like, if you see it like from here, what does it look like here? The two pillars, Yachin and Boaz, like in the Temple of Solomon. Uh, all those who are initiated, they see this immediately. As I showed you in the in the fireplace and that uh, thing that recently in the Templar house with the phoenix, they all see this. Right? But you know, to to be to be seen from all sides, they made four. Of them. Uh, that's only you know to adjust it to the to this situation. Uh, and here too, there's a lot of squares in it here. A lot of squares. Oh, well, bloody Romans, eh? Still in the Roman era we are. The Roman blue army ruling over us. You know, put on your mask. So this cathedral here in Lanka, this is the name. It's from the 12th century. There's nothing almost from before the year 1000. Oh, that's quite impressive. Look at this, why the wings here? Oh, why, why does the church need some wings? It's all falcon stuff, it's all Horus and Ma'at. Why these women on that church? 
cathedral. So this lady here, next to the cathedral in uh, Langre, her name is uh, uh, Jeanne Mans from the 17th century, or well, she founded uh, Quebec. You can see she died in Montreal, Montreal, and. Uh, She found at Quebec. Wow. And here it says in English and in French. Uh, here in English. Here in French. Well, it's a bit difficult with the sun. Quebec. So I'm here at a um, Cistercian monastery. I don't know where it says Cistercian. And uh, I'm just in front of it actually. I don't feel like going in, you know, it's, it's always, you know. But anyway, this is interesting. It says here Cistercian, you see, in Auberive. And it was founded in 1135 around the year 1000, by Saint Bernard, and underneath it says Clairvaux. Oh yeah, they came from the, uh, the monastery of uh, Clairvaux, uh, next to Troyes, where I already filmed you, where there are the two lakes, the, uh, the lake of the Templars and the lake of uh, the Le Grand Orient. That's where they went to. That's where they came from, the Orient, eh? the Middle East. And this is the same guy who, found the, who founded that monastery where the Knights Templars, where they started. And they started with the Cistercian Order, who have a white dress. And uh, so you just have to put a, a red cross on it, and you're a Knights Templar. And they were the only ones who could... Um, so here it is. They were the only ones who could um, carry a sword, legally. There's no other monastic order. Yeah. So I already know enough, I don't need really to go in here. That's yeah, pretty big. So this, the Knights Templars, they were here. There's, there's absolutely no doubt. There's no doubt. This is why they were hiding. They couldn't stay in the castle. And this guy, Bernard de Clairvaux, he was born in a castle himself. The son of a duke in uh, Burgundy. And... Uh, yeah. But yeah, he was the second son, so he, couldn't, he didn't get the castle. Abbey aux Brives. Hmm. Well. Templars were here, no doubt, Cistercian, Bernard de Clairvaux, they opened Cistercian monasteries all over, it's just like, like McDonald's restaurants really. But you won't find Templars crosses probably here. No. So, it says that um, saint Bernard, well he's not a saint, it's like having a, uh, a Nobel Prize for peace nowadays. All these butchers like Kissinger and Obama, they all have a, a peace prize. And uh, Mandela as well. And with some of his monks, quelques moines, here that means a monk, they came from the Abbey of Clairvaux to here in 1135. So um, these monks, they were Templars, right? They were no, not normal monks. 
and now they made a, a holiday a colony for kids here uh, it says here and it belongs to the family Solvay L'entreprise Solvay and here it says the um, uh, wait. A holiday, holiday colony was it in 1960? And Solve, he built that hut in Switzerland in uh, 1917, uh, in the middle of the uh, the First World War. And the Mother of Darkness Castle, it belongs to the Solve uh, family. And here, now I'm here, and I see the same thing going on here. You know, a holiday resort for, for kiddies, you know, to, to, to get hold of the kiddies here. Uh, probably Belgian kids as well. And uh, to, to get them over to the, uh, to the Mother of Darkness castle, the one I went to, eh? Where Dutrou, he, he, he brought the kiddies to. Uh, and it all happened right after they, uh, in 1989, the, uh, or 19, yeah, 89, the, uh, the stem cells were discovered. Uh, and uh, so that's why here, I'll show that to you. So here you can see that that's here, this is the, uh, the Cistercian Monastery. And here you can see this, uh, you know, playground for the kids. Where is it? Yeah. And all that, eh? So this is this this is why they get hold of kids here. And so the French king, he was right, you know, the uh, the Knights Templars are sodomites and uh, satanists, and, and it's going on. This is a Templar's place. They are, they just called themselves the uh, Cistercians. And so here is the, like a hotel. Chambre, it means rooms, you know, right next to the, um, to where these, uh, where the, uh, where the children come from the, for the holidays. And look at this here, you know? there are four horses, the concept of four, and uh, in the, in the, um, in the wheels, there's a circle for the compass, the concept of three. And it has four parts in it as well. And it's like, you know, look here, there's the Freemason there, and it's horse, Solve, and there's a kid running for his life here. And they got this here. They, they all know it, people. They all know it. Huh? And next to it is the... Uh, next to it is that thing for the children. Oh. Oh. Over there. People coming out. Oh, it's forbidden to film, eh? Don't do that, yeah? So the guy was friendly here. He's, he said, if you want to have a look inside, you can have a look. And here's like a Swiss cross. And in the, in the middle, it's uh, octagonal, octagon. There are eight parts. And to the right is a Templar symbol uh, called Tau. T-A-U, which I also shown you in that castle in Spain. Uh, this, I don't know, oh, it's a square. Yeah, then it's also supposed to be a satanic uh, symbol, the Tau symbol. And this is from, he said, this is the oldest part, so I'm right next to the, uh, to the abbey. And this is from 1135. So the Templars... Well, they were here, there's no doubt. So this is like thousands years old and the Templar is like being here. No. Uh, 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mother of Darkness Castle. Anybody recognizes his missing child? It's like Pizza Gate here. And the Masons, they come and eat here. If the guy would have known who I was, he wouldn't have done this. He wouldn't have invited us in, inside, eh? Oh dear, oh dear. There's a phoenix. This is very old. In the times of uh, Bernard de Clairvaux. This is not possible to see anymore what it is. But the top is of like octagonal. <coughs> oh there. Et le statut, c'est qui Laquelle Là, dans la niche. C'est Saint Vincent, le patron des, des vignerons. C'est pour ça qu'il est là. Il lui manque une larme. Tu as vu le jeu noir dans, dans le tableau Là-bas. Hein Il y en a aussi comme ça dans le hein? non, dans la serre. Et là, c'est un, un maître verrier que l'on connaît et à qui l'on avait trouvé un beau travail à faire. Il a refait tous les vitraux de la cathédrale de Lausanne, par exemple. Un, il a fait plein de, de cathédrales ici en France aussi. Et pour nous remercier de So this has been, it's an exact copy this here from the, uh, the cathedral of uh, Lausanne and this is from the 14th century, exactly made and must have, the guy just said it cost him a fortune, <laughs> I believe that. Eh? So the falcon has the, uh, the concept of four and the concept of three, it's in a circle or the phoenix. Fantastic. So uh, Bernard de Clairvaux, he was here. So the man here, he had it made again, but this is like from original. And this is the coat of arms of the cardinal in those days, Cardinal de Rie. R-Y-E, apparently. You see here, this is, uh, it's like a Templar's cross here. And um, it's really aristocratic. So, I mean, the church is arist it's, it's the religious wing of the aristocracy. And they are like the second, third, fourth sons who they went into the monasteries. That's an and there's the same bird here. Birdie, birdie. The phoenix. as this one here. So this was the wine, you know, Demeter and biological, excellent wine. They were like, we were invited in that castle, but I, I didn't dare to film the people. And they uh, were the, um, the solve for the, for the children and the monastery of uh, uh, Aubrive. Eh? Aubrive. No? Aubrive. An excellent wine. So we got invited there and probably because I talked about a lot, some things and you know they they were quite interested about it every year in that um, uh, monastery the freemasons they gather there every year
uh, next to where the children are. Right? But anyway, it was very friendly, very nice. And this is the, the beer they are selling there. And you see the inverse triangle of death here as the political prisoners of, in Auschwitz, they had it on their chest. There's the circle, the eyes, the, well, the owl is an important animal for the Freemasons. The rest of the head is white for the, for the, for the White House, the New World's Order, and a little bit of red. So, and the red, for the Old World's Order, the original pharaohs or aristocracy, it's being depicted here as the inverse pyramid of death. So, and this is why the Republicans, they hate the Royalists. You can even see this here. And behind it, there's Masonry. You know, free Mason, Masonry. And in the middle, it's like opened, like free Mason. The Mason is being taken away, where the owl is. So it's called Shoe. And uh, a bear with a lion that got a prize here. And... Uh, it's a six and a half percent. Very, very good beer. They only, they only have the best stuff there. It's the best wine I ever drank in uh, in my entire life. That's um, and and the cheese they gave us there. It was really, um, yeah, it it, uh, it 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 couldn't be true, you know. The, uh, something was happening there. Eh? Uh, yeah. So. We bought a, uh, another bottle. Mm. Yeah, there's some old publicity for the Alfa Romeo, the car. Alfa Romeo. Like from the 70s or I don't know. Yeah, this is the logo or part of it of Alfa Romeo. Quite fast cars. You see the snake eating the child? What kind of a logo is that, you know? With a crown on it. The serpents eating the child here. Look at that. And the Prime Minister Berlusconi, he had it in his he's, he has it in his garden. You know, the grass cut like in the, like this here. Horrible. And that's what they do. The aristocracy, the pharaohs. If you if you listen to Arizona Wilder, and it makes quoting again different people here. Look at this one. There's also three like pyramids, but I think it looks like a compass. Three compasses. And it's about money. You know, a financing group. And there's a pyramid in it. Like, uh, yellow is uh, like, um, it's like golden. Yeah. There you can see it. No, I can't. So this is Peugeot, the car, with the lion, and they put also three um, horizontal bars for the horizontal rule, or um, always three. It's everywhere, in here as well. Just like this one here. Everything belongs to them, people. Right, there you can see it. this is the uh, the lion car. Oh, the stock is here. So um, August 9th, 1944, the um, the uh, SS they. Um, they killed all these kids here, I think, uh, 17, uh, who were in a, like a school for like becoming a farmer, a agricultural school. And because the resistance, they uh, they bombed the railway. You know, the Germans, the uh, or the Nazis, they uh, they moved the uh, the tanks to, to stop the Allies. Um, Many times they use like the uh, the railway, right? So f this this is probably because of this here. What happened? Uh, they finally uh, there was the Battle of the Bulge in the Ardennes, a little bit further up. And 
they killed them here in this this farm here for what is like a school for um, these kids and here's a chapel it could be very very well be a Templar's chapel so let's have a look uh, I wouldn't be surprised this is a Templar's chapel but there's, there's no signs it's completely abandoned and this was like a farm for the uh, like a school, just just like the Templars had, eh? the Templars farms. And the railway is like here, you can see it here. Where they, uh, the resistance bombed it. And as a revenge, there's the monument. As a revenge, they, uh, they killed all these children here in uh, 1944. Uh, so in this village, we're gonna visit a Templar's commandery and it's called Saint Maurice, Saint Maurice. You know, you remember in Switzerland the uh, the guy who came from Thebes uh, in the third century next to the next to Sion uh, in Switzerland like the elders of Sion you know the prior of Sion and well the guy is not is not a saint at all he was a bloody butcher I tell you and in the, he's a saint for like for 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 Catholics, um, because uh, well, I mean the third century after after Christ, um, uh, um, Christianity or the it was already a state religion by that time, so this is why he he protected the the Christians because it was a state religion only for that. Uh, even in the American Army, so see my film on Saint Morris on one of my channels. Uh, they even they have sort of um, Freemason Templar orders inside of the American Army called uh, Saint Morris. So we're, I'm looking for the Templars commandery of uh, Romagna. Excuse me, sir. You know where it is? No, oh, apparently not. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, it is. Impressive. Yeah. like a horse with wings or something. Was that a bat? So this is uh, the gate of Saint Jean, and this one here, the Order of Saint Jean de Jerusalem. Um, that's why Macron he was in a um, in a Templar school there. And it says during the war, an American tank. They just um, probably to get through the gate here. They destroyed the gate in 1944. This is this guy again, Pierre de Beauredon. Uh, there's a, a lot of commanders here. Uh, maybe Commander Bond is in it as well. Here they're asking for money here in the little box. See how much is in it. A little key here. 
Oh, well, you better not use PayPal, eh? Lucky for you. So, for the ones who think that that was it, yeah, look at how big it is. Uh, here's the name, Commanderie de la Romagne. And here. Probably that one too. See if the door is open. Oh look it's open though. Staircase coming up here. Okay, well, let's close it again. Well, I made this later, of course. But this is... Uh... It's the same structure as I saw in that house. You know, like uh, the entrance of the pyramid. Right? These are the things, you know, behind the fire, the open fireplace. So this is from 1600, a little bit later. And, uh, of course, uh, Fleur de Lys, lions, always lions. Another lion. Well, that one looks like a poodle. This one here, with a Maltese cross here. Octagonal even, crown, hmm. so here they're renting out some rooms, yeah, it's open, the door's open, the keys are inside, well I don't want to go in. There's that thing again. These are inside. Oh, going inside anyway. Ah, oh, that's old stuff, eh? Hmm. So here's another coat of arms, which can be seen here as well, probably renovated, yeah, yeah there it is, this one here, I don't know what it is really, looks like bombs, shells. Hmm. Look there's a snake here. Kind of dead, eh? Snake in France. Hmm. Yeah, on the Templars Bridge. Yeah, oh, look at these chairs here. <coughs> oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. A lot of squares in it, eh? For the square and compass. Then there are three rows, 
so there's the, the number three is there as well the concept of three and four and these are like circles for the uh, also for the compass <clears throat> it's all here even in the furniture and don't you think that's just a coincidence don't you ever think that I and this here is quite uh, oriental, you know, like this here. That's why we have all the Muslims, because of these dudes. They made a, uh, an alliance with the, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and the, uh, the Caliph. It's very oriental. Oh, very suspicious. And there's a... Uh, Behind it, there is a, um, a Templar's Cross or a, the Order of Malt. Used to be behind it, behind that coat of arms. Why are there always a coat of arms on a Templar commandery? Because, you know, they're all aristocrats. Yeah, you see, this is octagonal, octagon. It's protecting the inner circle against us, the square. It's everywhere. This is the door. Finally, there was somebody here. So here's a farm, and next to the commandery of uh, La Romagne, uh, there is this, which was probably taken by the farmers here in long time ago, uh, of the um, of the commandery. So Templars Cross here. Because it's quite practical for building the house, I don't know. but it looks quite old as well. You know, in France, it's everywhere, everywhere, in every town you find something of the Templars. Because you know, it's like that they opened commanderies like McDonald's. Eh? Bloody pharaohs with their lions. Our blood is here. World domination. Yeah, this is a big natural source. And the water coming out of nowhere, you're like. Probably the Romans were already here, eh? Probably built all this. Now look at this logo here. Maison, it means the house. The royal house. And there's a circle. You see that four parts. With a sort of a star in the middle, like the, uh, the uh, NATO star. And there's, uh, it's divided into three and four. There are three black or brown parts of in the circle. Plus one, it's four. So it's three, the concept of three and four. And, it be, and the circle around it for the compass. And it belongs to this, this one here. You already know that one. Eh? It's, it has a square and a compass. And yeah. Our masters, eh? Now look at this bloody thing here. Look at that, eh? eh? Another falcon. And uh, it says here it's from uh, 1814. The uh, Imperial Guard. Well, it looks like bloody Star Wars, eh? Yeah, the Imperial Guard. They they push back. In 1845, the um, Hungarians. So 1845, right, there's uh, Napoleonic Wars. Eh? Only wars, 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 without end. For nothing. For nothing. You know, for the bloody eagle. And then there are obelisks. Yeah.
Ils ont traité le peuple. Ouais. I know, it's important. What, what does he have in his closet? What is that? Weird, hein? Eh? What is that? It's look like it looks like a croissant. <laughs> well, I mean, bird was hungry, eh? Ate a lot of Europeans, most of all. It looks like a croissant, you know, the one you buy in the supermarket and you put it yourself in the in the oven, you know these things. And the croissant, it comes from the um, from the, from Austria. When the Ottoman Turks, when they uh, they had surrounded uh, Vienna, Vienna, um, they had nothing more to eat, so they had a lot of um, that. There was not much more flour, so they put a lot of yeast in it. You know, it looks really big and uh, with nothing in it. So the uh, croissant uh, was uh, it got invented. Well, it looks like this, and here they push back the Austrians. Bloody croissant in his claws here. So here's another castle here. Look, the, and what do we have, you know, in front of it? Look, the Faches, like in the Senate. Like in Washington, or in Paris, or Rome. And that's, that's like an egg. Or the uh, the grain. This is the faches. So they already had it, like you know, the faches, like the you know, the kings and the aristocracy. I mean, that's that's where it all comes from, eh? This typical faches. That mean it's a whole bundle tied together, and one grain you can break, and all together you cannot. It's like uh, where we go, one we go all. It's, that's what it means. That's a grain. Where we go one, we go all. There's a sort of a, uh, a church next to it. The barracks in, in those days are there. To, the blue gates are to put the horses in there. That's very interesting. I wonder what it says on the, uh, on the coat of arms. Can't really see it, but I'll, I'll see that later. Yeah. So all everything it comes out of the aristocracy. Eh? I mean, why does the aristocracy put the faches in front of their uh, their little palace? Eh? Bloody pharaohs. Pharaoh. Me. So here's the logo of a winery, uh, Vignoble. Uh, look at this. Templars colors. There are three axes for the concept of three. On top here you can see the square uh, in a coat of arms. So um, white on red, like the Swiss flag, that, that, that is uh, Hospitalis or the Order of Malta. And uh, it also looks like a seven or a one. But anyway, the and the seven, uh, the concept of three and four together makes seven, like the G, seventh letter. Uh, and there's something more I feel there is in this logo, but I, I, I don't see it now. But I feel there's something more. Yeah, and look at this here, the A, it, it, it's weird. It looks like a Ku Klux Klan guy with his hands up, like. Why? There's a reason for all these things, you know. Um, the other A, it doesn't have it. Why? Yeah. And they know it, they, they feel it, they see it, you know. It's the same, this one here, I, I feel there's something more. Uh, I haven't figured it out not right now. Okay, got it. Look here, it's it's square and compass. The white here, it shows the square and compass here.
Now look, in the middle of it here, you've got, there's even a, a pyramid here. It's even got the, uh, the summit on it, the capstone. Uh, it's a town that's called, and it, it, the whole thing is on a compass, a circle with a square here, where it stares here. It's all, you know, and the colors here, red, white and blue of Pharaoh. And here it says, Ach, Ach le Gré. Ach, of course, it means to rule, it means the Greys are ruling here. <laughs> now, it's probably a, a aristocratic house called Gré. Gré. But anyway, I mean... The pyramid looks quite new, you know, the Freemasons have just put it down. Always on a roundabout there's something. Eh? Yeah. And you are just their slave, which is nothing. Yeah, look people, the logo here. Uh, next to the Templar, Templar's Chapel. Well, you all see the square here. In the Knights Templar's colours, red and white. So where's the compass, the concept of three, so that's the concept of four. And the red in the middle, because that's where it all comes from, the old world's order, uh, white around it. And well, there's, the, uh, there's your, your compass, 60 degrees, you know, on top of the square, just as in, the, uh, in, the, in their logo. It's absolutely everywhere. So every, all initiated, they read the, comp the, the, um, the concept of three and four. They read the uh, square and compass. So this logo here, Armature, so there's no P, P in the name, no V either. This here is a Templar's V. The whole thing is in a square, in, in red. Uh, this thing here is supposed to be the, uh, the compass here, and it has the, uh, the inverse pyramid of death. And the P is written in a way that there's also a square in it. And you see the, uh, the compass, it's going into the square, into the white square. For the New World's Order. And around it, it's red. So it's not very clear, this one. But anyway, it's, um, it's all the same. So this logo here, no, well, you've got a lot of squares. For the square, the compass, well, you don't see it. This one too, there's a lot of squares here in it. Yeah, and it's it's like 60 degrees of uh, the compass. Well, this one we already had. And we got this one here. There's a triangle for the concept of uh, three. The roof is a 90 degree, it's a square. There's a little circle in it here for the concept of three. And the holding, well, there's a red square. It's full of little white squares the whole thing is full of it so that's the concept of four so there must be somewhere the concept of three well i don't see it immediately but it is there you know it's, it must be there somewhere maybe the name lsr there are three letters maybe it's that but anyway it's all all companies it's all masonry it's bloody cold here this is the end people Last voyage. Oh, 